If you read the Bible carefully, you'll notice it makes a lot of sweeping, all-inclusive statements. The question is whether or not to take those statements seriously. I'll show you what I mean. Philippians 4, 6 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I hope you notice that. Be anxious for or about how much? Nothing. Instead of worrying, tell God about it and trust God. Someone once said that worry is blind and cannot discern the future. Of course, there are things that concern you. You can't be blasé about your child or your parent receiving a serious diagnosis. Lose your home and you'll have some serious questions. But God says, don't worry. Worry is simply evidence that you really don't trust God. Your life is in whose hands? God's hands. He assumes responsibility for you. He has pledged to provide for you. It might rain at the wedding. Okay, God has a plan. The car might break down while you're out at night. Good thing you have your phone and a flashlight and angels with you. John Wesley told the story of being on a ship during a storm as he sailed to the United States. The raging sea terrified him as he realized that he could die. Moravian believers on the boat had just started a worship service when a massive wave crashed over the ship, splitting the mainsail. Wesley later said it was as if the great deep had swallowed them up. But the Moravians remained completely calm. It made such an impact on Wesley, who went on to become one of the greatest religious leaders of all time. He said it was the most glorious day he'd ever seen. So who's in charge of your life? God is in charge of your life. And if God is in charge of your life, why worry? I'm John Bradshaw for It Is Written. Let's live today by every word.